Well, hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the coffee break. It's another day and another dollar. Lots going on, right? <clears throat> but we're going to take a time out here. Think out loud, talk out loud, chill out, you know, and share some experiences or thoughts and ideas. So I'm glad you're with me today. And to get started, I just want to remind you that if you like my video today, make sure you hit that thumbs up button right away. Hit the subscribe button and share. And uh, also don't forget to hit the notification button if you want to be a part of the conversation from here on out. I appreciate it. And if you have any comments, ideas, or observations and experiences you want to share with me, don't forget we got those comment boxes below. And you can just uh, put your comment in there and I'll be happy to read them. Okay, well, it's another day, as I said, and I've had some thoughts over the weekend about things that might be of interest to talk about on the coffee break. And uh, one of them was something that popped up. I, I, don't, where, I don't know where I heard it. Uh, it was somewhere. It was probably on YouTube. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Uh, someone mentioned the word in reference to a group of people called the undesirables. And it struck me because I also have a friend uh, out in Oklahoma. I get on the phone with him and I pretty much can guarantee just about every other phone conversation with them. They mentioned to me that their area where they live <clears throat> is considered to be inhabited by a bunch of people that are known as the undesirables. <laughs> so those two things kind of seem to collide right there in the moment that I heard them. And I started wondering about that. What does that mean, you know, when people are referred to as the undesirables? You know, we're all human beings, we're all on this earth, and we come and we go and we uh, expand our families so that the generations keep going. You know, there's nothing new about that. We're the human race. So we all come into the picture, breathing the same air, eating and foraging off the land and sheltering off the land, drinking the water, just, you know, sharing the experience of life on planet Earth as a bunch of people known as human beings. That's what we've grown into. And what's come out of that has been a lot of havoc over the past few years in particular. And uh, so everyone's pointing fingers at other people now. And it got me to thinking about this word, undesirables, when I heard it the other day because I thought, well, who's an undesirable really? I mean, um, we, homeless people sometimes are thought of as undesirables because, you know, they don't live up to the standard that everyone else is trying to live up to. And it may not be their fault, you know. It's circumstances beyond their control sometimes. They're not able to take a shower. They don't have a home to go to. They can't just go cook a, a meal in their kitchen because they don't have a kitchen. And they're wandering the streets all the time and asking for money. So people might look at those kinds of people and think they're undesirable. You know, and then there are people who have an affinity against other people of a different skin color. You know, that's really come up a lot this year with uh, a lot of the protesting that's gone on in, ref in reference to equal rights and, and racial uh, equality or inequality as the discussion goes. And so some people might look at another a group of people and say mm -hmm. they're undesirables. And what about religion? right? You got people who come from a different faith and a different cultural background and they're kind of in your area now. They're living in your town or your country and you're looking at them and you're thinking, well, they don't look like me. They don't think like me. They don't do things like me. They don't dress like me. So that makes them an undesirable. Some people actually think that. And I keep coming back to the issue, we're all human beings. And as human beings, does that mean that we're all undesirable? <laughs> or should we be thinking in terms of positivity and say that we're all a part of the same plan? We're on the planet sharing the same air and the same food and the same water and the same environments just in different corners of the earth, different weather patterns and what have you. And we have different ideas. We're different creative beings and we have different thoughts. No two people are alike. So what makes one person over another an undesirable? Now, I can understand when someone does something that is against 
uh, our ideology of what's right and wrong and then we might think of them as maybe that person is somewhat undesirable or they've done uh, they've made a choice that is unfavorable and they've hurt somebody <clears throat> or they've taken away something from somebody that they shouldn't have and they had no right to and I think that we're finding ourselves more and more in this position when it comes to you know how we communicate with each other how we cope with situations how we come together to agree or to disagree in some occasions which is now uh, I don't know from what I've witnessed the idea of agreeing to disagree just doesn't exist anymore because nobody wants that I'm all right and you're all wrong seems to be more correct in more more and more of people's thinking at least from what I've seen in the news feeds and what's going on in our country <clears throat> and you know it kind of makes you wonder you know what is that really all about you know how are we as a human race getting to this point where everyone around us is considered undesirable if you are not with me then you are completely against me rather than okay you don't agree with me and that's okay but you know we can agree to disagree and we can still live peaceably together there was a time not that long ago within the last 10 15 years when they had bumper stickers that you know were talking about coexisting together we must have been having some severe issues getting to this point where we are today with how to live with each other even back then and it's probably nothing new it's probably been happening since day one when you know brothers Cain and Abel <laughs> didn't get along and uh, one killed the other right <clears throat> um, I mean even if you think about it Adam and Eve at some point had a didn't uh, they had a little falling out when Eve t decided to go and eat from the tree of knowledge when that wasn't supposed to happen I mean according to the stories right so maybe it's always been that way and we just didn't treat it the same way right we didn't respond in quite the same fashion that we do today and I would say that we're not responding to each other in a civilized manner as much as we could what we're do is we're doing is blowing up exploding overreacting sharing our opinions very strongly and with shouting voices rather than just talking it out and saying here's how I think about it and this is why I think the way I do and this is my experience what is your experience and how do you believe and think about things we don't do that anymore and because of that kind of mentality I'm thinking maybe that's where we're coming up with more and more people being designated as undesirables now with my friend in Oklahoma she said you know because they're just a bunch of oddball people living out in this podunk area that doesn't offer much of anything <clears throat> that nobody would want to move there so that makes anyone who does live there considered all oh, the undesirables <laughs> and that's just not true I don't think that I don't think that we are filled on uh, the earth is filled up with tons of people that could be classified as undesirables that's just putting a label on people's lives and I really think that you really I ought to and we ought to really reconsider how we look at things and how we respond to things and 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 find a middle ground as I've said before in other videos I, I feel like I'm pretty much a moderate type of person I just want to have no conflicts really I mean there's always going to be some disagreement but I don't really want to have the conflicts that just do what people are doing to each other these days I've always had this fascination since I was a little boy about human behavior and why people treat each other the way they do and I've I'm still fascinated by it to this day because it's just unbelievable to me how far people will go the lengths that people will go to hurt other people or to take something away from them that really truly we have no right to do to one another and that places us in that question mark zone of what is considered undesirable and what is considered desirable and where are your values your core values and how they play out and how you want your neighbors to treat you is really coming down to how you're going to treat them as well and you know it's a two-way street 
We got to get together in some kind of agreement, even, even if that means we agree to disagree, and just be civilized about things. And I'm connecting those dots out of the whole word undesirables and thinking about the world as it is, as we know it today. Is that the world we want? And truly, is there good in almost every person out there? You know, are there more good people than there are undesirable people? And how are we going to connect uh, with those people? And how can we help those that are falling into the category of undesirable to be able to connect with us and vice versa as well? Just some thoughts I'm throwing out there today on the coffee break based on just what I've heard. And uh, I wondered what uh, other people might be thinking about it. And if, you know, you think that what I'm saying makes sense, would love to hear your comments. So don't forget to write those comments in the comment boxes below. And truly, that's all I wanted to talk about today was this word, undesirables. It's something to think about. And we'll find something new to think about later on this week. And until I see you then, y'all have a great day. Okay? Bye now.